as you check the children. Show a little mess sometimes. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Sometimes. That is my life. You're gonna need a bigger boat. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Robert Gould. I'm Ian Fuego here. And we are here to review the newest season of... What We Do in the Shadows. This is season two. It just finished last week. And um, this is obviously a series continuing the continuity of the original What We Do in the Shadows movie by Jermaine Clement and Taika, uh, Taika Waititi. Waititi. Exactly. Yes, just on Long Island. <laughs> so this is a continuation of season one, which we all loved. We did a review on the channel. Mm -hmm. We loved the movie. We loved season one. And... Quite frankly, season two just continued being awesome horror-esque comedy. You know, not much horror, but it's vampires. So, of course, it's got that horror flair to yeah. the comedy. Have to cover it. So, I, I loved season two. I thought it was great. I think, actually, Guillermo's evolution as a vampire hunter served the show very well. So, uh, yeah, overall, I think season two was, uh, was awesome. Robert? I loved this season. So I was definitely late on jumping on this bandwagon. Okay. I still have... Okay. Have you seen the movie yet? Oh! <laughs> I was just getting there! <laughs> I've, like, started the movie back in the day. I never finished it. But, okay. yeah, and when, like, I actually started watching this and then realized it was even on, on our review list. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of awesome. But, yeah, I killed this within three days nice. and everything both seasons yeah and no the second season it was just as good as the first i was dying laughing i, I love this show Boy, go. same man i mean from the the short film that was their proof of concept before even the movie and then you know first season second season i don't know if i would say i like this season better i think they're just you know right on par for hilariousness awesomeness world building and stuff like that and maybe my favorite episode being the one where uh nick kroll's character returns and the hat stuff was that wouldn't just... be my favorite episode that was a good one it but it wouldn't be my favorite yeah. um yeah. so let's uh let's get into it so the story obviously is about three old school vampires that have made their way over to the americas mm -hmm. uh we have nandor we have uh, uh nadja. Nadja. nadja yes nadja <laughs> yeah. and she's so great um and her husband <laughs> Uh, whom I'm also playing. Oh my god. Oh. Laszlo. Laszlo. Laszlo, yeah. yeah. Laszlo. So, <laughs> who are apparently an old folk musical duo <laughs> that we didn't realize until later uh, on this season where they, they actually came up with Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Uh -huh. called Row, Row, Row Your uh -huh. Boat. When Ash heard that and everything, she's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> As she was so, still talking crap about the series. She's rhyming, like, this is so dumb. Rhyming cream with cream. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's these old school vampires living in New England, uh, New Staten America, Island. Staten Island. Yeah. Staten Island. And um, and it, they the haven't one. adjusted at all. Guillermo is uh, Nandor's familiar, whom Nandor refuses to make into a vampire, and so that frustration is starting to build with Ian Guillermo. And, Guillermo this season finds out that he's actually a descendant of the Van Helsing clan. Hell yeah. And so he accidentally starts killing vampires throughout the season, and that just ties in towards the end. It's just a brilliantly set up, you know, roommate comedy, except it's vampires mm -hmm. that are existing in today's society. Well, I absolutely love the story. And then was it, don't forget about um, uh, oh, uh, the energy vampire, what was his name? Colin, Colin Robinson. Robinson. Colin Robinson, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Colin Robinson. God, I swear. I, that might be my favorite episode of this season, is when Colin gets Robinson promotion. gets oh, yeah. overpowered. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I swear I was working with the Colin Robinson. And, and he, runs well, the business. Oh. he runs the business into the ground. Yeah. That yeah. was funny. I, no, the reason I, I love the one with Kroll so much is because of the fact that He's trying to troll, and it turns out he's trolling the troll, mm -hmm. and then he's putting the troll to sleep at the end. And I, oh, I'm Colin, positive, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm positive that was Jermaine that was voicing the troll. Okay, I'm just mm -hmm. not 100. percent Well, so. Jermaine shows up in the last episode he does, yeah. as his vampire character from the movie. Yes. So if you, I, the I know, movie, I know the characters. I know he was in an episode. The, of the same with the, band, the council well, and everything. Yeah. I know, mm -hmm. I know the characters. The council. Haven't seen the movie. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, I, I love the addition of the talking Nadja doll. I thought yeah, that little that was really funny, really yeah. funny and I wanted them to do more with it, and they didn't. That was one of my only regrets. I feel like I Laszlo should be torn between Nadja and the Nadja doll well, he doesn't at know some about point her. as an episode. He doesn't know about her, remember? Because yeah, they, oh, yeah. they supposedly yeah. got But that would be funny if he found out 
about it, and then he's torn as to yeah. which one he'd he'd like to stay with. Yeah. That would be a fun episode. No, which makes me think of the like homoeroticism between uh, Laszlo and. Nando. Yeah, he's they like, both he's had. Like, Do you want to just go, go go finish each other off? And yeah, he's like, right. I won't tell him you want. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, they're vampires. Uh, yeah. They're androgynous. It's sexually I mean, non-specific guy. guys. So, but the yeah. the comedy in this series is is really superior to many horror comedies in the past, and I think. Uh, oh yeah. They wear it on their sleeves, and it's fantastic. It's enjoyable. Every episode is enjoyable for various reasons. That's why a third season's already greenlit. It's coming. Uh, I yeah, would, I would hope so. Yeah, I would hope so. Well, it's specifically, official. I'm it's a big official. fan of the uh, <clears throat> the the one. Actually, I was hoping that Mark Hamill would have played a bigger role. Yeah. But the fact that he created Jackie Daytona, <laughs> <laughs> like I love that was what the, made that episode the Jackie so Daytona and, uh, and episode was great. And yeah. him getting into volleyball, that was mm-hmm. just so yeah. fun. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, and then the effects. The effects remain yeah. fun every time they go bat, you know, yeah. they turn I into love bats. love that. And, Human form! Yeah. <laughs> it, it all looks great. I mean, it all fits very well within the series. It's all subdued, mm-hmm. but it all, you know, coalesces. And there was even a slight bit of a scare factor in the episode where, so... Uh, Guillermo hooks up with these other aspiring slayers. Oh yeah, Craig Robinson being one yeah. of them. Yep. And they they go and they storm this this uh, this uh, abode. This, this abode. This, this vampire like nest, so to speak. And it doesn't work out very well for those people. And there were some creepy looking kids and respected mm-hmm. vampires in there. And all those people die. Which the was disco music was f- yeah. a fun little nod. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that yeah. was kind of funny. Yeah, that was good too. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, overall, it's just so a, a really fun mm-hmm. series. The acting is great. <clears throat> the effects are fun and completely uh, complement this the series as it's being told. The main four characters, Guillermo, Nadja, Laszlo, and uh, Nandor, or, or, and Colin Robinson. Colin Robinson. Robinson. I keep forgetting how Colin Robinson... They're all fantastic. Everyone does. And they carry the series so well. And again, I think Colin Robinson, that one episode where he got promoted and just did so well as far as his power goes, I thought that was so interesting. So mm-hmm. it, it's great to oh, consider yeah, that. He split into those, those other two versions mm-hmm. of himself, if I remember. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's just great writing all around the whole way through. So if you guys haven't picked up on what we do in the shadows, then you're, you're, you're really... Uh, you know, missing out. Unfortunately, yeah, it's, it's FX like by did. way of Hulu. You know, <laughs> on, on your respective streaming services. And as far as music, I mean, yeah, there's not a lot of it, but that theme song I, gets I, stuck I, in my you. head. All I the love that theme dead, song. Dog dead, dog dead, dog dead, and you're yeah. dead and out of this world. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Love yeah. this show, man. It, I'm gonna rewatch that tonight. It's <laughs> all fantastic, you guys. So if you haven't watched what we do in the shadows, either season one or season two. We highly recommend you guys give it a shot. Um, I've been watching it on the YouTube TV app. That's what I pay it for. I don't know Hulu. how you guys watch it. It's uh, Hulu. We have to deal with the commercials, unfortunately, uh, okay. unless you pay for commercial free Hulu. So there you go. That's how you guys can get your hands on it. Um, let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you have watched it or if you went and watched it and then came back, let us know what your comments are. Uh, we would love to know any and all opinions on this series. Are there any dissenters? Is there anyone that doesn't like this series? None I've spoken with. I would like well, to know actually, that. Well, uh, Ash, his, his girlfriend. Ash, yeah, Ash kept talking crap and everything. Just like, I'm, try, I'm trying to watch it. So dumb. Well, like, at one point, I almost got put on the couch, and just like my first rebuttal was, "You're dumb." It it's makes like, me feel oh, like, "Oh, I'm dumb." Yeah, dumb, it's like, "Oh, I'm just gonna lock the door and just sleep on the couch." It makes Shit. me feel like we need to seek out that other series from the same. Oh, um, oh Wellington, area. Wellington uh, Paranormal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's not available in this region. Like, I actually signed in to iTunes. I acted like I was on like Australia, mm-hmm. you know, or, or whatever. And you can you can download them there, but they're like a few dollars. And there's there's two seasons plus a holiday special already. Two of that seasons? Show. Yeah. Wow. And and, and Taika and Jemaine are involved writing and everything Dang just it. like with All this right, one, I'll which see what really I can do aggravates get our hands the hell out of me, man. I'm sure I'll there's a torrent of it out there somewhere, but. Shh. We don't do that kind of thing here. No, no, no. We're, we're um, all right, so let us know what your thoughts are in season two of what we do in the shadows in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to our patrons for supporting the channel monetarily. The link well, to that is in the description it. box if you want to tell us movies to review or do commentaries for all of that good stuff. Until next time, though, I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Robert Duel. Guys, I've been having a And remember, stay, stay scared. scared. Bat!